Bill Coletti here, here in my studio uh, with my dog Chicklet. Maybe some, uh, of course, you know, puppies always uh, get you more views on YouTube, so I hear. So we'll see about that. Anyway, we're here to do a uh, unboxing of uh, two horns that I just received from Carol Grass. Put the chicklet down. All right, two horns I'm going to uh, unbox right now. One is a, the one's a pocket trumpet. The other one is a cornet. The pocket trumpet is model CPT-3000, and the um, cornet is model CCR-9990. I have not visually seen these yet. I know what the finish is, but I've yet to see it. Um, it's a. They both have a red grass brushed bell, and. Um, the body of the horn is silver plated, uh, so that's the uh, combination. It's polished silver plated. So let's check it out. All right, let's open it up and uh, take it from there. All right, so it looks like we got the pocket trumpet first. It's a smaller box and the cornet. Underneath. All right, let's see what we got going on here. Some exciting stuff. I haven't seen this finish yet. Uh, I own a Carol Brass um, brushed gold brass bell, which I absolutely love. Uh, it's got a it's great for using on gigs uh, where you need to be close to the microphone. You don't want to. I sing as well and play the piano, so playing the pocket trumpet is great to just keep right by your side, pick up. You don't have to stand back with the mic. If you're not using a cordless mic on your horn bell, uh, it comes in handy to have that shorter length for with the pocket, pocket trunk. All right, so here we go. Comes in a nice case. Black, kind of pseudo, maybe it's supposed to mimic carbon fiber. Not quite sure of that. All right. This end up, cow grass. Comes with a mouthpiece, I'm not sure which one they deliver. Cool. Aha, you cannot see it. Very nice. Let's get this case out of the way. Looks like there's a mouthpiece in there. All right, now this, wow, pretty cool. Now this one looks like it's got um, uh, red brass polished top and bottom caps. Wow, bounce feeling really nice. Um, and this one is a five and a quarter red brass bell. They typically uh, don't ship with that. Uh, you have to custom order that. And um, the it's a little wider than the standard one that they have. Now, although they both accept uh, regular size mutes for the trumpet mutes. Uh, this one apparently will give a warmer sounds, red brass, and it's a bigger bell. So we'll check that out. All right. So it's a silver plated polished finish and a red brass brush bell inside and outside. Very cool. All right. So we'll put that away. Put that next to my flugelhorn. Not going to promote that flugelhorn because this is for cow or grass right now. And see my other horns over here too as well. We won't mention those, but if you want to send me a message and ask me what I got going on here, I'm more than happy to reply. I'll tell you what's behind the curtain. All right, this is the cornet. The CT, what I said it was before, the CCR 990, 9990. All right. Uh, this is also done in the same finish as the pocket trumpet. Red brass brushed bell inside and out with a polished silver plate. All right, here's the case. Maroon on the edges, black. A little 
different from the pocket trumpet. Okay. Nice handle. Kind of looks like it's leather. Or maybe it's pleather. Don't really know for sure. Alright. Open this guy. And uh, here we go. Wow, this looks cool too. Hey, they match. Alright. This is. The 990 Flugelhorn. Don't want to drop that guy. Way cool. There you go. Shepherd's Crook Bell. Alright. Same finish with the valve caps, uh, tops and bottoms, and the finger buttons. Wow, really nice out of the box. Stainless steel valves. Pretty cool. Little mini trunk, just a cornet. Um, no triggers on this. It's got the lead water keys. Pretty cool. All right, so stay tuned. I'll um, I'll post some videos of what these sound like. Get some nice reverb in the studio. Uh, play along with some tracks. Um, you get a great idea if you're interested in purchasing these horns. You can go to cowbrass.com and uh, soon, very soon in the near future, I will be a featured artist for Cow Brass. That's Bill Pilates, so look out for me on that, their website. And also um, subscribe to my channel if you like uh, what I have uh, you know, to present to you. I have plenty of videos. I have some original recordings. I just released three singles working on a full CD, which should be out towards the end of 2018. Hey, one thing I forgot to tell you, um, also with the Carol Brass Horns, you do get a kit uh, that contains uh, valve oil and some slide grease. Uh, this is La Tromba Valve Oil Special T2, all right? You get a polishing cloth, um, instructions, a little manual, and a mouthpiece. With the cornet, you get a cornet classic mouthpiece. And with the pocket trumpet, you get a Carol Brass Free C. All right. Um, <clears throat> so let me play a few notes uh, just to give you the difference between. I have the uh, pocket trumpet that is in gold brass with the brush bell and a just a lacquered, polished lacquered finish. I'm using a uh, Austin Custom Brass 1.25 CSFX, uh, which is very deep cup. Um, it'll make really any trumpet sound like a flugelhorn almost. It's, it makes it very dark. Personally, I like to play with a deep V cup um, because I play flugelhorn so much. Uh, I just really don't really care for shallow trumpet mouthpieces and I don't really like bright sound. So I always uh, try to, uh, you know, seek out a darker sounding horn. Maybe that's not your taste, but it's, it's my preference. So I'll give you just a couple of notes real quick on the difference between a gold brass bell, which I think this is a five inch bell, versus the red brass. You can see the difference in the coloring here. This is gold brass. This is red brass. It's a little, little darker. A uh, little richer tone, uh, and you can see the difference in the bells. Five, five and a quarter. Put them up next to each other. Um, that's about right, about a quarter inch more all around. Okay, so uh, same mouthpiece on this pocket trumpet, the 1.25 CSFX Austin Custom Brass. <clears throat> um, this one's just uh, uh, this is silver. This one's brass. All right, so let's play the same thing on both horns. I don't know if you'll pick it up on this microphone or not. I'm going to go in the studio uh, and do something a little more, uh, you know, better quality with some reverb and stuff. So until I get to that, real quick, we'll play a couple of notes on each horn. I'll do the same pattern. And then also on the cornet, um, which is finished the same as the pocket trumpet. All right, red brass bell, brushed inside and out. And the slides are also red brass. The top bottom caps and uh, trumpet um, 
uh, buttons, finger buttons rather, uh, they're red brass polished, all right? So you get a little different uh, tone there. You got three tones here, silver, red, brushed, all right? So let's try the gold brass first. The difference between the two horns. Uh, tone wise, this sounds a little darker to me, uh, and may, perhaps because of the, the bigger bell, uh, I feel the air pushes through a little easier than, than the five inch bell. But uh, a, lot of, a lot of players complain that pocket trumps are a little stuffy. I really never felt this cow brass one was particularly stuffy to me. Uh, there is, yeah, a little more resistance because of the tubing is packed so, so tighter. But compared between the two, it is the five, the bigger bell is easier to blow through slightly. You know, I would definitely, I like this one over this one, as far as that aspect goes. Uh, tone is a little darker, so if you're not into dark tone, you might not like it. But if you hear the difference between this mount piece piece which makes uh, any horn sound darker, right? I'll do the same thing. Well, maybe the same thing. Now, this is the mouthpiece that comes with the pocket trumpet. A 3C carol brass, you'll see the difference in sound. Yeah, see, I'm not really great playing on a, on a shallow cup. To me, 3C is, is pretty shallow. So I prefer the deeper. And you can tell, obviously, the tone sounds much nicer to me. But. So, moving on to the cornet. This is the mouthpiece that came with it. It is the Carabras Classic. Uh, I really probably would change this out to something a little to suit my taste. Um, oh, I remember what I was going to say. The intonation on both of these horns, the one I've had and the new one, and even on the cornet, are very good. Um, I, I really have to give Carabras credit on that. Uh, a lot of horns you buy. They, out of the factory, intonation is nasty. Um, and the valves are great too. These stainless steel valves, I mean, I haven't even oiled these yet. This just came right from the, from the factory. And they're great, all right? So, the cornet, to me, uh, this I think I need another mouthpiece. It sounds a little bright for me, but... Um, <laughs> is great. I play this on gigs. I played this one on gigs. And I just get so many people that come up that are so intrigued with the look of it. If you like that kind of, you know, kind of thing on your gigs where people just keep on coming up and asking about your horn, then pick up a pocket trumpet by Carol Brass. I think they're great. For the money, um, you're under $1,000 where I've played some more expensive pocket trumpets that don't even come close to this. So that's my review. Bill Coletti. 
click subscribe if you like the channel and um, more stuff coming your way with these these two new horns and I'll do some um, uh, studio recording with it uh, I'm in the process of recording my full CD I've released three songs so far check them out on my YouTube channel uh, and um, by the end of the year I hope to finish the full CD and you can also find buy the tracks on iTunes Amazon Music Google Play and it's also on YouTube Music as well as Spotify. All right, take care.